Well, I've had my Innovision 555 center console for a few months now. And as always, I don't like to say much about any new equipment I have until I've used it for a while. So now I've used it for a while, I can tell you the performance is better than the 515. It has more room, it goes faster, and it's got a few extra things that I never had on the last boat. So what we'll do, so we'll go over the boat from the bow to the stern, and I'll tell you all the features and everything I like about the new Innovision 555 lure fishing weapon. First of all, on the bow here, we have the Haswing, which uh, is just a really cool piece of kit. As you can see now, it's holding us in position. Uh, we, we, we use it to anchor now. We use it to um, stop on bait schools. We use it to stay by workups. We use it to crawl along coastlines. It's a real game changer. Uh, I actually love this thing. I didn't think I would, but I actually do. Then we've got our cup holders, four uh, fishing rod holders, another cup holder, and our anchor well here, which is where I keep my sea anchor uh, when I use it, which is uh, not as much as I used to. Then you'll notice throughout the whole boat we've got this beautiful U-deck, um, like composite kind of decking that's just moulded around the curves and everything. And it's just really nice to walk on and sit on and... Uh, yeah, really nice. Thank you, you deck. It looks really cool. And also these wider gunnels, good place for, for sitting. Also, you can see this is the front of the boat here, so we fully utilised the, the bow space for casting. We've got the right height. You can see here, it's the right height. My thighs, my thighs are right on the edge here, so perfect for fighting fish. We can have two people up the front here. We can crawl along with the trolling motor, casting stick baits, casting soft baits. It's just a really good place to cast from. Really good. And then we come back down the sides here. As you can see, it's all U-deck on the gunnels and on the deck. And we come back down here to the, we'll go to the back here, to this cage. So the last boat never had this, this cage here. So this is a really good place. The kids love hanging out here. So you can fish from here and you can also drop it down and it becomes a ladder. Uh, the ladder is handy for, for divers and snorkelers and also it's good when it's in the driveway you want to jump on your boat it's an easy way to get on and off the boat so that's something that the other boat didn't have. It also has this great tackle station so we've got the, the filleting board not that I do filleting on the boat we've got five rod holders we've got two uh, cup holders each side and we've got this tackle drawer which is where I keep all my bits and pieces all my tackle boxes um, yeah really cool uh, drawer and you can actually it's quite good you can see here how I um, with my lures I just have the rod in there and I just pop the the lures in there and they stay all apart so a good way to travel with heavy lures on your boat what else we've got a uh, a waterproof locker in there where I keep all used to keep my food and my uh, camera equipment stuff like that got a little storage under the step here where you keep tackle boxes and over this side we've got a live bait tank it's a live bait tank I use it mostly for bleeding my fish in which because I love bleeding my snapper now and uh, you can also use it as a live bait tank we've got a wash down hose here that fits nicely in there so that's a uh, cool place to have your wash down hose and oh, what a great feature hang on a minute and also there's a the fishing rod storage so I don't like rods up and rod holders I like them down especially when I'm fighting a fish so down here you can see Simon the clever bugger has made these uh, fishing rod holders like below the gunnels it keeps it all out of the way that's uh, that, so these are eight foot fishing rods they fit in there nicely keeps them out of the way and you only need to get your rod out as you need it um, so that's three on both sides for a total of six we've also got rod storage that you can see down in here so this is for traveling when you're towing your boat somewhere and you don't want your rods to get damaged you can put them there and you just put them up in these uh, little clips here and so there's, you know, five, you can put five rods there as well. 
So we've got a total of 11 uh, rod storage places that aren't in the rod holders, they're down away to keep your rods and your reels all nice. What I also like to use that for when I'm fishing is the net. So you always want your net to be in a place it's handy to get. So I just keep it in there like that. I hope you can see that. So that's a real easy way to grab your net when you need it. I didn't show you this bit. So underneath here, storage. Lots of storage under there for all your sun cream, all your first aid kit, things that you need to get to quickly. And the big storage is under here. It didn't really work from bow to stern. I'm going back on the bow, but that's okay. That's me in a nutshell. And you lift that up and there's storage. I don't know if you can see, I'll use the net to show you. But there's a lot of storage. It's actually a little bed under there. So in there, goes right up under the floor. So you can either keep stuff in there, or my kids, they usually put a, a blanket in there and a little mattress and they can actually sleep in there. So there's actually a little bunk under there if you wanted to use it for your kids to have a bit of a rest. They love it. Now let's go and see back to the helm station here. So here we've got, you know, a nice panel of switches here. Got the VHF radio, Ray Marine, Ray Marine sounder, touchscreen with a remote control. We've got our zip wake system, which I don't think I could ever have a boat without one now. I love it so much. It just keeps the boat flat and trim. I can dial in the bow up or down with this wheel here. I just love it. Um, digital control. So we've got the Honda 135 on the back, which is a digital control engine. And as far as smoothness goes and having control when you're parking or docking or doing anything this is just so smooth there's no clunking it's like digital and it's really really smooth it's a real game changer for um, for throttle controls it's you know much better than the cable system so I really like that it's really cool um, what else have we got and we've got two big bilge pumps in the back that's a thing I always ask Simon for. I want two really big bilge pumps. So we've got two bilge pumps in case anything went wrong. So this that's my first kind of review on the boat from the inside. We'll have to show you something about the hull on another video. So please follow us on our journey. We're going to take this boat far and wide up to the top of New Zealand. Who knows where we'll end up. Thanks Innovision. Thanks Honda. Thanks Ray Marine. Thanks uh, Spinlock Life Jackets. Has, have I missed anyone? Ray Marine, UDEC. Thanks everybody for helping us put this boat together. And um, I look forward to seeing you soon on some more adventures with Ocean Angler. See you later.